welcome back to my channel. I am Bianca Dion, and guess I said welcome back. What up with it? What up with it? What up with it? What up with it? But y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for coming back. I know I haven't uploaded in a long periodically time. And wait a long periodically time. But I'm here. So yeah, I got a new backdrop and everything like that just so I can get into recording again. But I really, really, really love the way this eye look came out. I used a new palette, um, one that I literally just bought today. So I used a new palette so I can get this look. Everything else is gonna show you my current foundation routine that I've been doing to give me this flawless looking base. Other than that, that is all that I have. I'ma just start randomly. I'm oh, I'm a what? I'm a what? I'm a, words i'm gonna stop rambling and we gonna get into the video all right y'all so today i am going to be using the bh cosmetics take me back to brazil palette so i'm creating this type of like yellow i i use two brushes in one color that's it so my eyes is primed already i use the nyx this top but i ain't got the bottom on <laughs> my bad but i'm using the nyx it is the eyeshadow base in the color white and with using that i am going to it don't look as white because i use my concealer brush that i use to blend out my concealer under my brow to blend out my eyes so that's why i look like that so let's get this mug cracker looking as you can see i'm a little retorted and i made a scratch in this and this is a brand new palette but the yellow that I'm going to be using is this yellow right here. So with these colors, they are pigmented, but you got to build up the color. So pet and then John. Just pet, pet, pet. And then build up the color. In the crease area, like you can see it show up. But need this job to be like pigmented. All right, so the next thing I'm using the same color and my brush is sprayed with a little bit of the Morphe setting spray and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my lid. I'm like patting and like swiping. I was out of focus, Lord, but it eventually gets there. And yeah, this I look like is dirt pigment wise. I take the same brush that I was using. This is some random Japanese brush. And I just keep blending this out and take some more just to deepen this part up. And then lastly, because my concealer is like not matte at all in no type of way, so I gotta take my like foundation color and just on oh my bag and dab over this part right here just so it can be like matte right now it's shiny and boom this is how we look okay so I got both of my lashes on so let's go ahead and prom this face first thing that I've been doing lately because I got dark marks all over my face. So, I used the NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer just to cover up the dark spots a little bit before I put on my foundation. So, I just cover these up. And it also helped because then you ain't got to put on like a lot of foundation. So, that's why I like using this. Cause I ain't gonna find a lot of foundation. And the color that I'm using is deep. And 
then I go over it with my beauty blender. Well, not my beauty blender, my sponge. I use the, I'm out of focus. I use the Morphe sponge. Foundation I'm going to be using, it's my favorite lately, is the Cover FX Power Play. I'm trying to see what color I am. Is this the cover? G90. I guess G mean golden. I don't know. But I take a little bit just like this around the face. Just like that. And like that. Foundation brush. This is the Morphe Rose Gold Collection. I really like this brush. And I stipple around the face. So straight like this. And as you can see, I didn't use too much foundation, so. But because I'm showing you guys my full coverage foundation, I am going to go in with a little extra. So I don't go in with a full face. I just go in on the part to where I need it. That side is covered in my foundation. Oh my God, I keep getting my focus. Sorry y'all, I ain't, whew, I ain't did this in so long, but I'm just dabbing over. Y'all, I got a whole call. Hello? I'm at home. I'm recording a YouTube video. Why you got so much background noise? I know, Daddy, you told me. I just ain't did it yet. Okay. Bye. I'm so sorry about that, y'all. Next thing that we going in with super full coverage. This is the Born This Way Concealer. I think I used this in my last video. And this is the color butterscotch. And what I do, I go under the eyes a little bit. Again, under the eyes. I go down the nose. And right here in the middle of my forehead. That's it. So I do my nose and my forehead before I do my under eye because I like to let that sit for a little bit. I'm so sorry if y'all can hear any of that um, <laughs> downstairs. And just keep blending out the front of the head and under the eye. in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder today just because I have a little more of it than my Beauty Bakery uh, flour powder. I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to tap it into the skin. So. As you can see, it really brightens the under eye. Like, girl, what? Flawless. Denim up. And then just to give me a little baking action, Right here, I go down the nose, and then just to make sure I got the full nose because she a little long, and then also on top of the forehead. Now, one place that I do bake is around my mouth because I get those type of lines, so I always go in like that. Just a light layer, nothing too crazy. Now I'm gonna go in with my Mac. This is the Mineral Lock Skin Finish in the color Dark. This is this is my baby. Uh, this is very comparable to the uh, Sephora Micro Smooth, which is why I started using it. As you, um, if y'all some OGs from my channel, y'all know that I used to use the mess out of the Sephora uh, Micro Smooth. But the problem is that the Sephora Micro Smooth got discontinued and then they brought it back. So now that they have brought it back, 
I still haven't finished this one. So when I finish this one, I'm going to go ahead and get the Micro Smooth again just to see. But they're honestly very comparable. It's not that big of a difference when it comes to both of them. So as you can see, I am highlighted to the gods, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and contour it up. Uh, this is the Morphe Brontour in the color Showman's. Yeah, yeah, Showman's. So I take, I just like swirling both. <laughs> and after I'm swirling in both, I just go ahead and I go in circles around the perimeter of my face. And I'm just bronzing myself up. And then I also go on my temples because, I mean, my forehead not big, but it is dirt. I mean, she do, she do be looking big sometimes, so I be having to tell her, so, 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 we finna be a forehead today, not a five and a half. So now I go in with this brush. It has a little bit of my foundation powder on it, and I go over the whole face, especially in um, places where I have lines, like here, just to make sure everything is blended out. Actually, I'm going to save my face first. So, let me get this powdery stuff off. Y'all know this is the real deal. If y'all don't have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, then I don't know where you've been hiding. I don't know if you've been under a rock or what. But this right here is A1, A1 Life Steak Sauce. This is A1 Life Steak Sauce, for real. I'm going to take this part, the same brush that I was using on top. I'm going to use it on bottom as well. Um, just to give me a little yellow going on at the bottom. So, boom, we're under there. And yes, I'm taking the same yellow. I know there's two yellows in here. I really can't tell the difference, so <laughs> I just chose that one because uh, it was in the center. It's very summertime friendly, you know? Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my L'Oreal Telescopic, wherever, L'Oreal Telescopic, and this is the carbon black one, and I'm going to take that on my bottom lash line because these things is baby, so. Yeah, my bottom eyelash is baby. I don't even know, like, like, if anybody got tips on growing out your bottom eyelashes, please leave them below because uh, I'm struggling. Next, I am going to go ahead and go into highlighting. So, the Bahi Cosmetics, this is in the Danielle. They're not even called Bahi anymore. They're called Ayel and Company. And you can find them on um, Twitter. They sell the Sunflower Sweets Serum. And you can um, also do their makeup. So, that's what I have. But I have them when they was called Bahi. So... I'm going to take some Danielle, um, my highlighting brush. I got these from Walmart, and these things is so good. So, highlight brush, and I'm just going to go on my, right here. It's so pretty and golden. That's why I really like it. Now, I'm just going to go right there. I'm not going on the whole brow bone, just like right in this area that's already shiny, and I'm just going to make it shinier. You see? So, already in this area that's shiny. And give it a glow. Period! Period! My cupid's bow. And a little dot on the nose. I do like the nose highlight. It's very cute. But it's when you go overboard, you can tell you went overboard. And down the bridge of my nose. Ew! 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 Y'all know this giving me sunflower vibes. That's my song. Y'all know that song? Listen, I ain't a I don't know the words yet. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put on some lip gloss because I'm a lip gloss gal. Baby, my ponytail do not be cooperating with me. I'm over here looking like Felicia. Creaky and stuff. Thank you guys for watching my video. Everything will be down in the description bar below. I'm just so glad to be recording again. I have this yellow backdrop. It needs to be ironed. I'll iron it uh, next video or something. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you follow me on all of my social media. That is Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. 
and then also make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel i'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers before the summer is over so summer just started so let's get to 1k before summer ends right i think that would be a very great birthday present for me my birthday's in august so if y'all could get me to a thousand by august 31st that'll be litty bitty okay but yeah that's all i have for you i will see you guys in my next video Bye. Mm.